It's full of thousands of roses that are easy to find and grow on your own. But the Rose Garden in Loose Park, of course we all know about it, has a romantic history that's impossible to duplicate. Sloan Heller has more on why Kansas Cityans are proud to call it home. From Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor to French lace, buff beauty, and easy does it, the names of these roses alone are enough to stop you dead in your tracks. Then, toss in their rich colors, the stone columns and impressive fountain. And it's clear why hundreds of brides drool over this garden year after year. Right when we walked up here, I like fell in love with this place. I was freaking out. You can ask my husband. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the place. This is it. The Loose Park office opens its wedding calendar smack in the dead of winter. Brides and even some brave grooms line up as early as 3 a.m. to make sure they get their top pick. I had heard crazy stories about people camping out the night before. Bizarre stuff. And so I'm like, babe, I got to do this. It was a tough morning for her. Heather Franklin, but she finally sealed the deal. I like bust out into tears. I call my fiance. I'm like, we had the day. It finally worked. And everyone's office is like celebrating. The garden was the brainchild of Laura Conyers Smith. Even though it's gone through some tough times, like a late freeze in 2007, the garden has never gone through a summer without some vibrant color. When the Rose Garden first opened 79 years ago, there was basically nothing. There was just one bed of roses. Now, check it out. There are about 3,000 thousand bushes of roses and 150 varieties. Every year, tens of thousands of dollars are spent to keep the garden looking pristine. Volunteers with the KC Rose Society help park employees plant the flowers in March. In late May, the roses bloom, and by Halloween, the stems get covered with a foot of mulch. Last year, the garden went through a $250,000 renovation, which included a new drainage system, walkway, and, of course, more roses. Judy Penner, the director of Loose Park, loves working here so much, she calls it a gift. I go back to this garden being very spiritual and emotional, and I think people are drawn to it because of that and so when good things happen like your wedding or anybody's wedding that's out here I think that it really um, is what should happen in this garden and that's why Heather and her husband Caleb will never forget the day they tied the knot June 5th 2010 standing at the like, altar so to speak and watching her come down I just think back looking at her coming down I was just like she's so beautiful like, oh my gosh. The couple's friends and family called the ceremony something out of a fairy tale. When this couple first moved to Kansas City, they would go running at Loose Park and they fell in love with a rose garden. Here they are clearly not wearing workout gear, but getting married. Well, if you haven't guessed, that's me and my man on July the 9th of this year. Proud to call it home, Sloan Heller, NBC Action News.